Good Friday morning. Thanks for joining us here on 9 News Plus. I'm meteorologist Keely Chalmers with another forecast containing snow. We've got certainly the return to winter like weather. We saw it a little bit last night, continuing to see that uh, dreary weather out there today, a little bit of drizzle, some areas some freezing drizzle, some areas some snow, and we're going to see another round, more organized system. The main event as my colleague Chris Bianchi called it this morning, uh, moving in tonight. So what we're going to see is that precipitation transition to all snow right around 8 o'clock, 7, 8, 9 o'clock hour. We're going to see continued snow even down here at the lower elevations in the metro area and across the plains as we head into tomorrow morning. So let's get to it. Let's take you outside and up to the mountains where we can continue to see that snow. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, falling right now as we take a live look on I-70. This is near Le Loveland Ski Area and the Eisenhower Johnson Tunnels, which you really barely can see right there because of all the freezing uh, on the uh, lens there. But again, continue to see the snow falling up there, not causing too much, uh, pro too many problems in terms of traffic right now. We're not seeing any buildup on the roads. You saw I-70 there. Let's go ahead and go back, take another look at that. Uh, and you can see, you know, just looking wet, even up there in the high country. But uh, with the system that comes through tonight, tomorrow morning, expecting potentially some traffic issues with that snow. And again, that's tomorrow morning out there right now. You can see live on Boulder, the snow falling uh, and certainly covering the grassy areas, the lawns, some of the trees, but the roadways not looking too bad out there right now out at DIA. We just got clouds. 37 degrees, winds out of the southwest, 7 miles per hour. Here's a look at your current temperatures. They are chilly out there, but gradually warming up. We're uh, at, at 36 degrees in Greeley, 42 already in Lyman. We're at 41 in Colorado Springs, 46 in Pueblo. Temperatures fairly uh, constant up in the high country as well, 42 degrees. Right now in uh, Leadville, we're at 55 in Eagle, and we're at 65 out west in Grand Junction. So your weather headlines for today, uh, we're looking cold. We're looking like uh, pretty gray, dreary. A few breaks in the clouds, but not many, less than I thought we would get uh, yesterday. That uh, low cloud deck just kind of sticking around, stubborn out there. And so we'll continue to see that off and on light drizzle today. We are in store, as I mentioned, for accumulating snow tonight. We're talking anywhere from about 2 to 4 potentially five inches in some areas, even here at the lower elevations. Up in the higher elevations, we're looking at uh, four to eight inches in some areas. And uh, if you are waiting for the sun to return, you don't have to wait long. Sunday, we're looking mostly sunny and uh, drier and warmer, and that is the beginning of a trend that will bring us drier and warmer weather right on through the week. All right, let's take a look at HD Doppler radar, and there you can see the snow moving in, the system moving in, bringing us snow as we speak, again, as we just saw, to the uh, I-70 corridor through the mountains, but again, not sticking to the grounds at this point, just creating some wet driving conditions. Moving through Boulder as we speak right now into Broomfield, but as you know, you see, as you continues to head toward the east, the snow transitioning to more rain uh, as you head as the system heads towards Broomfield and the metro area. So just clouds out there right now for the Denver metro area. Do have a winter weather advisory in effect for the Front Range foothills to the north. Uh, and we're looking at Winter Park, um, Estes Park uh, is part of this, where we could see 4 to 10 inches of snow tonight. That does include the passes, Cameron Pass, Rabbit Ears Pass, the Eisenhower Tunnel. Um, and again, that could create some uh, impactful uh, conditions tomorrow when it comes to slick, snowy, winter-like driving conditions. For the morning up there in the mountains, 4 to 10 inches of snow expected tonight in that shaded area. As we put our forecast into motion, uh, you can see again, we'll go ahead and head into, I'm gonna actually slow this down just a bit. I always like to do this when we go through this because I think it just, this is the one chance we can kind of walk it through. So going to the noon hour, we're seeing again, still a little bit of light snow up there in the Boulder, uh, Boulder County area. As we head into the afternoon, uh, we see that transitioning to just a little bit of rain here, potentially heavy rain at times. And then we see that all transition into uh, a wintry mix. This is 6.30 tonight. 
and then transitions to all snow right around 8 o'clock. And then as we advance this, you know, we're going to continue to see that rain out across the eastern plains of the border, but snow pretty widespread. Uh, this is from the Wyoming border south to about I-70. Below I-70, the snow uh, turns to rain. But again, we're going to see snow from the foothills all the way east to uh, the um, Kansas and Nebraska borders as the, we head into the overnight hours. And then we're going to continue this into uh, Saturday morning. And again, after about midnight, we see some fairly heavy bands of snow moving through not just the metro area, but to the north of the metro area. And again, Fort Collins, Boulder will likely see a heavier accumulation with this system. And then as we head into about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, we start to see a transition back to a wintery mix, and then it all moves out to the north and east. We have another round of showers moving in. Uh, the metro area south, Colorado Springs, Palmer Divide south toward the New Mexico border as we head into uh, Saturday tomorrow afternoon. That is a look at your precipitation as we put it through uh, the motion. And we're going to go ahead and kind of take a little closer look here. This is uh, tomorrow at 7 o'clock. No, this is tonight. I'm sorry, not tonight. This is tomorrow, not tonight. Let's go ahead and go back. This is tonight, 7 o'clock. Oh, let me get this one going. I love this one and I want to get it working right and it's not really, uh, there we go, there we go. Friday, this is uh, 6 o'clock tonight, you can see all rain across the metro area, certainly snow up there in the high country, but let's advance this. As we go into the 7.30, 8 o'clock hour, it transitions to a wintery mix here in the metro area, still seeing that snow up there in the high country, and then right there, that's about 9 o'clock, transitions all into snow, and that snow transitions up in the Boulder area right around midnight. We're seeing some fairly heavy snow midnight on. We're going to continue this right on through, continue to see that snow in the metro area all the way through about 9.30 tomorrow morning. And then we clear out and just some clouds out there. Clear out when it comes to precipitation, but it's still going to be a cloudy morning out there and certainly a chilly morning as well. So we are looking at a fairly widespread two to five inches across the plains, heading up in higher uh, elevation. We're looking again four to ten inches in some areas. Here's a model. I'm going to go sh just throw a couple models out here, three and a half inches here in the metro area, five and a half inches up in Boulder, Idaho Springs, seeing eight plus inches as this system moves through. So good news for the ski areas that are still open. We're looking at uh, six plus inches up there as this system moves through and quickly moves out tomorrow morning. Forecast highs today, certainly on the cool side, 42 year forecast high here in the metro area, 44 at Greeley and Fort Collins, warmer. As you head up to Vail, where we are, uh, where you're above this kind of cool, shallow uh, air mass, that's 51 degrees for a forecast high up in Vail, 74 in Grand Junction. So your forecast for today, dreary, drizzle, cloudy, 42 winds out of the north gusting up 20 miles per hour. Tomorrow again, uh, we'll see a little bit of a mix in the morning as that system moves out. And then we'll just see clouds. 43 degrees, going to be a chilly day uh, tomorrow. And then we start to warm up on Sunday. We're looking 68 degrees clearing. We'll see sunshine on Sunday. Actually, it's going to be a great second half of the week. Warmer on Monday, 74. Chance for some evening storms on Tuesday. Check it out. Wednesday and Thursday, we are looking at the temperatures up there in the upper 70s, close to 80 degrees. That is a quick look at your weather on this Friday morning. Thanks so much for joining us here on 9 News Plus. Have a great day and enjoy the snow.